this video, we will show you how to use an ET7018C thermocouple based analog input module for monitoring temperature. We will show you how to power the module, wire the module for communication with your PC, and how to configure the module over a standard web browser. After the module is configured, we will be able to see temperature measurements through the web browser. You can also show data through SCADA software, free easy data logger software, or with control equipment like touchpad, touchscreen PLCs. ET7018Z has 10 analog inputs and 6 digital outputs. ET7018Z is powered by 10 to 30 VDC. We connect the V plus and ground terminals from this GPSU 06U-6 power supply to power the module. We use a screwdriver to tighten the screws so the wires will stay in place. We connect the Type K thermocouple temperature input sensor to analog input channel 0 to plus and minus. The ET7018Z will communicate with the PC through the Ethernet port. We connect an Ethernet cable from the ET7018Z to the NS205 industrial Ethernet switch. We daisy chain the power from the ET7018Z to the Ethernet switch through the terminal block to power the NS205 Ethernet switch to share the same power supply. After everything is connected, we will use an Ethernet cable to connect our NS205 Ethernet switch to our PC. We will change the ET7018Z's IP address to work with our network. The IP address must be a unique IP address on our network and we must change the subnet masking gateway to match our network router settings to allow ET7018Z onto our network. After everything is connected, we can use a standard web browser to connect to the module's web server through the IP address. For this application, we will use the ET7018Z's default IP address, which is 192.168.255.1, but you can change your IP address to work with your network by clicking IP settings. We will open a web browser to open the ET7018Z's web server. We will type ET7018Z's IP address that we assigned with Mini OS 7 utility. We type the default username and password, which is admin. This is the ET7018Z's web interface where we can adjust the module settings, I.O. settings, and monitor the inputs and outputs. We can set our Ethernet settings here. The basic settings include the module's name, module's information, web server, TCP port, and Modbus server port. The module I.O. settings include common functions including the digital output channels on-off positions, safe value, analog input settings like input range values and the input channels on-off positions, cold junction compensation settings, and alarm settings. With the web HMI, we can check and monitor analog input values and digital output states by the web server. The web page is also editable. Today we will demonstrate the temperature measurement by K-Type. You can see the temperature measurement on the screen. We will put the thermocouple inside of an ice bath and you can see the temperature get colder. The thermocouple input sensor is attached to the ET7018Z. The ET7018Z takes the temperature input information and changes it into information the computer can understand so we can display it on the screen. ET7018Z passes the information back over the Ethernet cable to the computer. Today we showed you how to configure an analog input module and how to show the data over a web page. You can take analog input data from data acquisition modules and implement control or log data with controllers or PCs. For information on how to set up a PC-based control and monitoring system, see our video on using free easy data logger software.